Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. For nearly as long as The Simpsons has existed, they've put a microscope on family dynamics, the good and the bad. But the dynamic that I find the most compelling, challenging, and ultimately heartwarming is the sibling bond slash rivalry between Bart and Lisa Simpson. The show not only does a great job showcasing the kinds of conflicts that siblings face growing up, but also illustrating that beneath these conflicts is a genuine love and care for one another. In fact, Bart and Lisa's friendship might be my favorite relationship in the entire series, and so many of my favorite episodes and moments focus on what makes that bond special. So let's take a deep dive into TV's best brother and sister, Bart and Lisa. But before we get started, let's talk about today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build your online presence, run your business, or make a personal website. It's seriously so user-friendly, I threw this cool page together really quickly, it was easy to use, and there are so many different customization options. My website looks professional, and it matches the aesthetic of my brand and YouTube channel, highlighting some of my favorite video essays I've worked on, as well as some of my recent productions I've worked on professionally. Complete with the links to my work and contact info, and I seriously can't express how easy Squarespace is to use. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to push the website public, use my link, squarespace.com slash johnny2cellos, to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Obviously, The Simpsons has been on for over 30 years now. In fact, the 33rd season just premiered, which is kind of wild to think about. And over these 30 plus years, they've continued to bring Bart and Lisa's connection and rivalries to the forefront of the show. That being said, while I have seen a lot of Simpsons over the years, I'm most intimately familiar with the earliest seasons. So this video is likely going to focus in on the first eight or so seasons. But if you have any other recommendations for great Bart and Lisa episodes that come later in the series, please leave them below in the comments. Season one of The Simpsons actually didn't have any episodes that were centered on Bart and Lisa specifically, but a classic episode, Bart the General did establish that Bart is a kind and protective older brother. When Lisa brings cupcakes to school for her class, a bully steals them and starts eating them, and Bart immediately jumps to her defense. That's my sister, man. So what? So give her back those cupcakes before I knock your block off. Lisa warns Bart that the kid is friends with Nelson Muntz, but Bart puts his own well-being at risk to defend his sister like a good brother would. It basically leads to Bart repeatedly getting beat up by Nelson and starting a whole neighborhood-wide war to try and take him down. And it all happened because he defended his sister. So while this episode didn't necessarily focus on their actual bond, it shows the lengths that Bart was willing to go for Lisa. And that wasn't a one-way street either. Lisa was actually supportive of Bart in ways that he needed as well. And one of my favorite moments showcasing this was the season 2 premiere, Bart gets an F. Bart is failing his class and hasn't studied for his test, and after praying, he's given an incredible gift. A surprise snowstorm gets him the day off school. Instead of immediately studying, Bart gets ready to go out and play, but luckily his sister knocks some sense into him. I'm no theologian. I don't know who or what God is exactly. All I know is he's a force more powerful than mom and dad put together, and you owe him big. I love that these two episodes illustrate the different ways that Bart and Lisa support each other. Bart coming to a physical defense of Lisa, who is being taken advantage of at school, while Lisa comes to a more psychological defense of Bart, helping him see the error of his ways. But the first major Bart vs. Lisa conflict comes in the classic episode Bart vs. Thanksgiving. Lisa spends hours working on a beautiful and intricate centerpiece for the dining room table, but when Bart tries to replace it with the turkey, he flings it into the fireplace and destroys it, devastating Lisa. This was the first time we really saw a major conflict between the two of them, something that truly hurt the other's feelings in a significant way, but as Lisa exclaims, Bart doesn't even seem to care. Bart ends up running away from home because he doesn't think he did anything wrong and goes out on his own adventure across Springfield, leading to the family being incredibly concerned about his well-being. And I think one of the sweetest things about this is that even though Bart is in the wrong, Lisa is still so, so worried about her brother. I miss him so much already that I don't know. Bart and Lisa end up having a heart-to-heart -heart on the roof, and Lisa tries to understand why Bart did what he did, which leads to Bart having a breakthrough. I'm not gonna find anything. Just because I wrecked something she worked really hard on and I made her cr- Uh-oh. It's a really touching moment between brother and sister, one of my favorites in the show. I'm sorry, Lisa. Apology accepted. 
This is a great way to end this episode in conflict, and I think the writers recognized how emotionally affecting it could be, because almost every season after this had a great Bart and Lisa episode or moment. One of these is possibly my all-time favorite episode, Stark Raving Dad, which is stupidly the only episode in the entire Simpsons catalog that cannot be found on Disney+. The episode opens with Lisa begging her brother for one thing, to remember her birthday and get her a gift. A lot happens to set this one up. Homer is sent to a mental institution, and when he's released, he brings his roommate with him, a large white man who thinks he's Michael Jackson. Through all of the excitement surrounding Michael Jackson coming to Springfield, Bart forgets Lisa's birthday entirely, leaving her sad and alone. And she is really, truly angry, too. She writes a really upset journal entry about it, something we used to see her do a lot. But Michael helps Bart find his feelings for his sister, and it's really sweet. What I love most about this sequence is that Bart absolutely does not believe that this man is Michael Jackson and is even angry about it, but he still accepts his help and he does his best to make it up to his sister. Look boy, either Michael Jackson is some guy working in a recording studio in LA or he's here with you willing to work on this song. It's your choice. Honestly, the song that Bart and Michael write for Lisa is one of my favorite things to ever come out of television. This song constantly gets stuck in my head and it's so sweet. You gave me the gift of a little sister and I'm proud of you today. In the words of my friend Tunrific Tariq, this episode is annoyingly good. It's a perfect balance of comedy and heart, and the heart just hones in perfectly on that brotherly and sisterly love these two have for one another. Whenever Bart is inconsiderate towards Lisa, he goes out of his way to make it up to her. They never let their conflicts linger beyond an episode. It's always about that resolution that showcases that the pair care for one another. Season 3 has another of these episodes as well, Separate Vocations. This episode reveals a sort of role reversal when a surprise aptitude test says that Lisa should be a homemaker and Bart should be a cop. Bart takes to this new idea of authority and becomes a school hall monitor, while Lisa rejects the test suggestion and becomes a troublemaker. But after Lisa decides to steal all of the teacher editions of the school textbooks, it puts her right in Bart's path as hall monitor. But instead of turn her in and potentially get her expelled, he takes the blame on himself. Why'd you take the blame? Cause I didn't want you to wreck your life. You got the brains and the talent to go as far as you want. In spite of their regular conflicts, Bart is such a protective and loving brother to Lisa, and I really think it's one of the most important dynamics in the show. In fact, I think the show argues this as well. Season 4 dropped the episode Lisa's First Word, which is almost the origin story of their friendship and connection. Through flashbacks, we see how difficult it was for Bart to adjust to having a little sister. He started to lose a lot of the attention he was used to, and so many things about his life changed so fast, including being forced to sleep in this terrifying clown bed. If you should die before you wake... <laughs> I can't sleep. Clown will eat me. Bart is so hurt by the way his world has changed that he decides to run away from home, but one thing stops him. Bart! That's right, Lisa's very first word was Bart. Isn't that, isn't that just so damn sweet? What did you say? Bart? Suffer and suck a dash! You can talk! The writers just continued to lean into this dynamic throughout the golden years of The Simpsons, and it always worked beautifully. Lisa on Ice is another particularly great Bart and Lisa episode. When Lisa is revealed to be a natural hockey goalie, she steals the spotlight from Bart, and this all comes to a head when their hockey teams face off against one another, and it all comes down to Bart taking a potential game-winning penalty shot against Lisa at the end of the game. But instead of continuing their rivalry, the two think about all of the times that they were there for one another in their lives in an adorable montage. They take off their pads, and they just hug. Ugh, you love to see it. I previously did a video on Moan and Lisa and Round Springfield, two of my favorite episodes in the series, but Round Springfield also features another great example of how Bart and Lisa support each other. When Bart eats a jagged metal crustio, he's sent to the hospital to have his appendix removed, but when he complains about the pain, the only person who believes him is Lisa. Mom, I think he's serious. <laughs> Kids are so naive. When at the hospital, Lisa runs into her old friend Bleeding Gums Murphy, and they reconnect. Unfortunately, shortly after this, he dies, devastating Lisa, who does her best to try and honor his memory. She desperately tries to get his album for the local jazz station to play, but it costs $500. Which is, lucky for Lisa, the exact amount that Bart got in his settlement for the Jagged Metal Crustio. And instead of spending the money he got for his pain and suffering on himself, he spends it on his sister. But why? When I said my stomach hurt, you were the only one who believed me. Bart is a 10-year-old kid, and he chose to spend the most money he's ever seen in his life on his sad little sister. What a guy. 
And this sort of comes back around in the following season when Lisa does something similar for Bart. In Bart Sells His Soul, Bart does exactly what the title suggests. He sells his soul to Millhouse. And when he stops enjoying and appreciating the things about the world that he used to love, he becomes concerned that he might have been mistaken about this whole soul thing. He desperately tries to get his soul back from Millhouse, who sells it to Comic Book Guy, who sells it to someone else. Bart praying for his soul to return to him is one of the saddest scenes in The Simpsons. His desperation is just so palpable. I'm afraid some weirdo's got my soul and I don't know what they're doing to it. But Lisa is Bart's savior in this one. She bought his soul from comic book guy with the money in her piggy bank. She spent all the money she had to get Bart's soul back for him, reciprocating what Bart did for her in Round Springfield. Oh, please. Thank you. Happy to do it. There are a ton of episodes of The Simpsons after season 8 that I do love. I have major nostalgia for the Scully era, but many people consider seasons 1 through 8 to be the golden era of the series. And fittingly, this era actually ends with a major Bart and Lisa episode, and it once again features some of the most heartwarming moments between them. The Secret War of Lisa Simpson is the finale of season 8. When Bart is sent to military school for his bad behavior, Lisa decides to take on the challenge and join him. Of course, being the only girl, she's chastised and treated horribly by the other cadets, and Bart can't publicly defend her in fear of also being chastised. But Bart still goes far out of his way to support his sister and encourage her that she does belong there and that she is capable of completing the school. He even helps her late at night to practice the dangerous obstacle course that all cadets have to complete in order to graduate. But the best moment is when she's actually trying to complete this course, and she doesn't think she can make it across the rope. The entire school is chanting for her to drop off of the rope, and instead of joining them, Bart shouts out encouragement and support. Come on! Just get your hands back on the rope! And sure enough, with his love and encouragement, Lisa makes it across the rope and graduates from school. It's one of my all-time favorite Bart and Lisa moments as a capper to the strongest run in television history. Bart and Lisa's friendship is truly one of the best things about The Simpsons, and the writers were able to capture the nuances of both their sibling frustrations and love and support they felt for one another. I think it's one of the most important dynamics in the entire show, and it's created far too many of my favorite moments in The Simpsons. Like I said up top, if you have any other examples of great Bart and Lisa episodes that you think I should see, drop them in the comments. I know there are a few in the Scully era that I really enjoy, but there's plenty I haven't seen, and I'd love to make a good playlist of all of these episodes. In fact, I'll comment below with all the episodes that I focused on in this video as well. And with that, I want to pass it off to you. How do you feel about Bart and Lisa's friendship in The Simpsons? Does it feel authentic to you? Do you appreciate their bond like I do? Let me know below in the comments, and as always, stay tuned for more. Peace! Johnny! Two challenge!